Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Halliday LLC. It's the mobile media. We are out and about, of course. We're wrapping things up here. It's Oak Barrel Guy. It's Oak Barrel Guy. We're getting ready to say goodbye. Let's go through. I, I did this the other day and I was asked to redo the planter bed update. I guess I had my thumb on the microphone. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, anyways, here's what we were going to do. I'm going to let me let me get up in here and show you how we had three layers of what's going on here. We have this layer here, of course. The the this is how hot the box is. That's white sage, ladies and gentlemen, can handle some heat. I had to open it up, get it some air. You can see it's kind of getting burnt. Uh, so, anyways. You have a box here which would feed into this box so you'd put your fertilizers into there or not fertilizer but your food like uh, uh i use uh, uh organic matters and uh because uh, i make my own stuff up but and that's what i call fertilizer it's not uh, chemical but uh, uh organic organic material let me put it that way but you would have that and it would run into this bed right so you wouldn't have to use as much food in this bed because uh, because it's coming from the back and then it's going to run down into here now what i had going on you can see i have some roughage uh, uh if you will there where this board's coming across here we were going to do another layer right here and as you can see the cilantro is laying down and that would have been the cilantro bed and let's zoom in on that pumpkin right there pumpkin pumpkin look at that pumpkin head huh hey Got to have it. Let's go over the herbs here. But over in this bed here, as you can see, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Let's see here. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Garlic seed. Garlic seed. There you go. This would have been a garlic bed. As you can see, the garlic's all getting ready to do. So I'll get my seed out of here. Uh, uh, but this here would have been garlic. French tarragon over there, right there behind the potato. German winter time, German winter time. You got some spearmint going on, of course, the strawberries, some chives here. English sage, ladies and gentlemen, English sage. So there's one planter bed. And then in the uh, uh, to augment it, we have that little purple flower right in there. Let's see if you can see it. See that purple flower right there? That is Thai basil, ladies and gentlemen. Thai basil, lovely, very earthy, aromatic uh, flavor. You'll love it. You'll love it. Again, we got a little English sage going on here. The peppermint here. Of course, the strawberries. Uh, uh, cilantro. Now, I want you to look at everything here. You'll see nothing's eating it. Ooh, 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 ooh. What have I got here? What have I got here? I got lunch. I got lunch. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. Quinault Everbear. Mmm. They are so good. So good. But as you can see, we got that coming, uh, the pumpkin coming down, uh, uh, Italian basil over here with the strawberries. And look at how these strawberries, you have a whole nother layer coming here. Look at all those. That is how you propagate your berries, folks. All those right there, you could go cut those off and put somewhere, they'll grow. We got some more English sage here, more English sage right up in there. But this was a basil bed primarily with some dill on the very end, German winter time. So you see that going on. Here we have uh, uh, another type of squash. And remember, I was pollinating all these by hand to make sure and ensure I didn't cross the plants. And I'll show you why in just a minute. Look at those. Hound's tooth. Hound's tooth. Those are really good too. Really, 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 really good. But over here again, ladies and gentlemen, what do we got here? Pumpkin head. We got pumpkin head. This guy here is already turning orange. That means falls in the air. You know, you know it's coming. You know it's coming. We had a full moon last night. 28 days. 28 days. I got a feeling if I'm thinking we may have a full moon for halloween -y. You bet. You bet. Anyways, what we got here? Oregano. Oregano. And look at this here. It's all in bloom. Isn't that a pretty flower? And it is so fragrant. Believe it or not, you want to explode. Uh, excuse me, an explosion of oregano flavor. Use that flower when you cook. Unbelievable. Of course, look how pretty that autumn's mist is getting. We got the, for a little height and contrast, your sunflowers and bamboo going on there. Of course, we got Flagman. He's going to be going with us. But look at all of these. If you, I'm going to walk around here. This is a spaghetti squash right in here. Look at all the squash are starting to turn yellow. It's about time to harvest, ladies and gentlemen. That's what that means. It's about time to harvest. But there's about 20, maybe two dozen of them in there. Over here, ladies and gentlemen, what we had going on, lemon basil. And that is just so aromatic. Uh, I got a little tie right here. Of course, the peppermint and the 
the uh, the peppermint with the oregano it's all coming out and, and going over and we would have come out to right here we would have come out to right here we would we were going to have remember the recreation issue we were going to have a little uh, uh, right in here we were going to block it off horseshoe pit so you would have to throw up and over for this layer right here because we were coming out again you see the the rodents aren't eating this the night guys aren't eating it so we come up here and you can see hanging off the fence isn't that kind of cool birdhouse gourds that's what those are they're birdhouse gourds uh, you drill a little hole you get some seeds and uh, you go at it here we go i'm going to show you on the other side you can see these stoves they're going with us i'll talk to you in a minute about those folks but as you can see pumpkin head pumpkin head huh look at that right there man there's another one we got them over here too we got them everywhere these are pumpkins another banana i mean spaghetti squash ladies and gentlemen spaghetti squash right in there but another one and look at look at my peruvian white bullet it has exploded little pods everywhere i hope i get a few i hope i get a few getting short on time it's almost time to get out of here now the stairs of course we got the plants going on there going on there you got little irises and flowers the uh, uh, a cilantro pot uh, more cilantro and strawberries and as you can see you'll see in there i push the strawberries back in there so they they like that so the little rodents don't come out because they love them strawberries but this was a little flower bed uh, uh the the ladies would come out they'd have hay for their horses i'd help them unload they'd give me give me a couple bucks i went and bought flowers for them so they'd have something nice to look at when they come out all these strawberries ladies and gentlemen all these strawberries there's about 300 of them when you count all of these on there you can see they're starting to root they're starting to get little root nodes on them uh, uh, on the bottom there all those rhizomes I'll, uh, you want strawberries 75 bucks every strawberry i have in a planter 75 bucks if you want them planted give me 150 bucks we'll get them planted we'll get you a nice design and everything ladies and gentlemen hold on for just a minute i'm going to place you on hold i'm going to go sit down for a second and talk and we're going to tell you where we're going to go and what we're going to do. We are not. Let me see. We are back on. We are back on. I'm back inside, ladies and gentlemen. You'll have to excuse my appearance. I've been out working. We got the spring harrow whacked up a little bit. Oh, my goodness. I forgot uh, uh, our guest appearance on GMO Tuesday. This is the fourth week they've been a guest on the show. Fourth week a guest on the show. And remember, I've had it for six months. Seven months! seven months do we dare open them and see what it is wilcox organic since 1909 hard boiled eggs ladies and gentlemen hard boiled eggs hey what we're getting ready to do here those stoves out front are going to go with me to another project i'm going to help a guy develop uh, a medical herbal facility uh, a production facility and he's going to uh, uh he wants to go organic so i've never had this opportunity uh, I never thought I would see an opportunity like that in my lifetime. So I'm going to go up the road a little bit and work with this guy uh, uh, over the winter and into the next summer. We'll see what happens there. Um, one thing won't change. GMO Tuesday and Preservation Thursday. Don't worry about that. We will we'll definitely be on those. Uh, and I'll divulge more as we go along. I don't want to get too far out there right now, but we're looking at we're we're about done here we're just about wrapped up in a uh, um, little bittersweet melancholy if you will just because of how things happened um as i said i've commented on stuff in, in the other uh, uh platforms and people know what i'm talking about there so anyways ladies and gentlemen it has been a blast i i, I did what i could uh sometimes things don't work out the way you want them to and you just kind of go with the flow and you see what happens uh you keep good thoughts, good things happen. I don't know how, how else to say that, but if you like what you hear, thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the station. That's how it works. If you can help out, hit the website. Hit the, hit the PayPal link there. Uh, uh, do what you can. Do what you can. It's all good. Uh, uh, and please, join the Twitter campaign. Join the Twitter campaign. Of course, today, planter bed update. Brought to you by MDG blogger, Paula Mayer, Paula's Healthy Living, Organic for Green Livings, and of course, up the road there, on Geiger Grade, 1330 Geiger Grade, 775-852-0999, Foothill Feed and Mercantile, Organic, non-GMO foods, they got them, she'll get you taken care of, Shannon will get you taken care of, it has been a blast, 
it has been a blast. I got a few more days work whacking on that. Uh, uh, we almost got the spring haro cut up and, and, and ready for dump in there or ready for recycling, I guess it is. Remember, repurpose. If you can find a good use for it, ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. And I'll talk more about that as we go on into next week. And I'll start talking about other projects I've done and you can go take a look at them. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, if you like what you hear again, thumbs up, subscribe to the station. It's all great. All the new Twitter followers, blah, Twitter followers, thank you very much. I sincerely appreciate it. And hey, as always, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a great day and let's all be safe out there. Thank <laughs> you.